Okay, everybody. Welcome to part two of today's tarot card reading. I would say this week's, but I might do another video this week. I don't know. I want to at least do a video once tarot card reading once a week to practice, to reach out, all that good stuff. But this is at part two. I just realized I was uploading the first video and I didn't put part one. It's okay. Easy fix. Anyway, so uh, same setup. So we can see, there we go. There's the cycle in. Um, let me drawing. So, like in uh, part one of the reading, tarot card reading, uh, things are going to be a bit hidden from you. Um, it's not purposefully done, it's just the way the world, the way of my tarot card video set up. This beautiful Sunday afternoon, not a cloud in the sky, you can't really tell. I guess I'll have to show you all again in this video, why not? Not a cloud in the sky. Isn't that great? Anyway. So, oh no, this plant's dead. I <laughs> know, I feel bad. Anyway. So, I'm going to do a drawing. Uh, you're not going to be able to see exactly what I'm drawing. But, <laughs> here's my tarot card drawing. Part 2 video. And we'll see what happens. Okay. So thanks for tuning in. Tuning in all the way. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> There's this really cute fish at the um, aquarium in the San Antonio Zoo. If you've seen my Instagram, you, you're going to know which fish I'm talking about. Um, but he's like a big fish, like kind of like as big as my head, or she. Um, and she's just so cute. Um, but anyway, so I drew, um, this is a bit of the... Uh, Two of Swords reversed in the Sun um, card. 
she's got her eyes so you can't really see she's a little bit blind uh which uh is the blindfold on the two of swords which i think is also um talks about faith and stuff like that um and here um it's kind of like a sun like the sun rising and setting you have sunrise and sunset here um but it's also like um gills or air bubbles which is also the sword element uh from this fish here um i guess when i post on my instagram i'll post the picture of that fish again um i forget the names every time i go to the zoo and i see the names i'm like oh yeah that's the name of that fish but i can't remember the name right now offhand um but yeah it's just it's a certain fish at the zoo it's a, a big fish she's a big fish i like as big as my head and i'm always taking pictures <laughs> next to this fish um so yeah uh the sun and the two of swords element here Okay, it's just the little Dumbo ears. This is a five of pinnacles. Dumbo's means smart ears. Um, so yeah, it's just, I drew little lines here just because the five of pinnacles too. Oh, and you know, I didn't think about it, but faith, um, a lot with faith, I think, is a bit of um, sacrifice, I guess, in a way, which is also what Five of Pentacles, um, represents, um, so there's, like, a, a, I think a sacrifice element, not, uh, in, with good intentions and in the purest form, um, so maybe, um, your support system uh, has made sacrifices for you, and now you're making other oh, somebody walking in the back. Um, good luck. Uh, so um, maybe now it's your turn to make sacrifices, which um, I would say you're well equipped to do that. It's I might be talking about it in terms of sacrifice, but you might see it as um, just like something you're supposed to do. I guess I'll leave it at that. Anyway.
Okay, here's the King of Pentacles part. I hope it's not going to get too dark. Um, so the King of Pentacles reversed. I put a feather. And also the Two of Wands. I mix the King of Pentacles and Two of Wands here. Um, represented by this feather um, that has fire. Because wands are a fire element. Um, but I also kept it with a pentacle because this is like um, a piece of wood here or a log or something like that. That's um, her accessory uh, in what she's wearing today. Okay, so this is the part where I hope it doesn't get too dark or, or whatever. Um, so uh, she's got a little um, ribbon with some beads attached and a little skull too. Um, and uh, so yeah, this is my drawing. For today's tarot card reading, um, and I thought that was appropriate because, uh, appropriate, uh, meaning it fit with tarot card reading. Um, uh, because uh, fire is about um, ideas and intuition and travel and spirituality. Um, but there's a lot of reversed in our readings today, so um, I put this little skull here with the beads. Um, and uh, I think that's probably uh, goes with the reversed uh, King of Pentacles here vibes we got going on. Um, so, death can mean a lot of things, definitely permanent. And, um, change, uh, I wouldn't necessarily say transformation, but, uh, for some reason, um, I got this, uh, death element in our drawing today. So, I hope y'all like it. I hope it's, you know, I feel like I'm kind of not explaining it very well, but, um, It could also mean um, like a lack of faith. And if you have, um, if you're not tough, if somebody thinks they're in a position to judge you in your life um, and what you have available to you, which is your support system and um, your talents and skills and gifts that you have, um, you know, they're not going to have faith and they're not going to survive. I don't mean that like in a death way. I just mean that they're going to be um, incomplete. And, um, you know, not happy and stuff like that. So, um, and also, uh, you have to be, there's... Uh, Also, it's a um, knowing how to deal with things in, uh, in a very emotionally intelligent way. 
um, because if you don't do that, um, you lose a lot more than you think you do. Um, it, this can also be a symbol of um, dealing with things very uh, intelligently. Um, we didn't get any cups today, but uh, I think uh, emotions have a lot to do with our spread today. We had a lot of water element. We had an ocean and we had a um, like frozen ground. So um, there's definitely that water emotional element there. Um, but again, this also represents um, strength and dealing with... Um, so a little bird over there <laughs> dealing with um, uh, life's hardships that are real and meaningful and um, and there's wisdom that goes to that so that that's what this uh, skull and feather and on fire is supposed to represent Plus a cute fish from the San Antonio Zoo. <laughs> so, just that show again. Oh my gosh, it's a couple. A bird couple. By the, the gazing, can you see it's by the gazing ball right there? A little Carolina Wren, I think it's one bird. Window. And here's the card pop up window. Okay, well thanks for tuning in um, to part two, my tarot card drawing video. Um, as always, I look forward to the next tarot card video. And I will talk to y'all later. I hope y'all have a good one.